What's up guys, it's three o'clock in the morning. Just got the call and we are picking up again in Kinder and taking it to Shanaeville, Louisiana. Same run as yesterday. Just doing it a little bit earlier. Uh, last night, I think with Kinder, Louisiana, they don't have a truck stop really close at all to the shipper. The closest thing is like 28 miles away, which is like a loves and a pilot. I wanted to be a little bit closer. So I parked, basically it's like a gravel, not even a parking lot, just the gravel area right off the uh, road, like uh, 49 or something like that. But uh, yeah, unfortunately nobody parked around me and uh, I just decided to go ahead and take the risk. But it was good, everything's good right now. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and do a walk around and uh then get rolling all right everybody 7 45 in the morning we are leaving the shipper now <sighs> well as i saw in the earlier clip woke up around three o'clock got a call saying that uh they had a load for me said, all right go ahead and send it to me i'll be ready in a couple of minutes i'll start heading down that direction because i was only about 20 minutes away from the shipper. Well, got to the shipper at 3.30. Got CPW 01, so I got that. And uh, to my surprise, there was a line. But nobody was on the scale. All right, hop, hop on, hop on uh, Google Maps. Click on the location of the shipper. Got the information, you know, address, name, ratings, and, and phone number. That's what I needed. So, got on my phone, called them. Somebody picked up saying, hey, uh, are y'all loading right now? Or is it down? He said, no, we don't want to start loading until 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. All I need to know. Call dispatch up. Say, hey, I'm, uh... I'm at the shipper, but uh, they don't start loading until six. So, I'm just sitting waiting. I said, well, what shipper did you go to? I told him the one that's in my, uh, in, in my text message and in the app. Okay, well, we've been sending the drivers to this other one, but let me, let me, Call Halle, Halle B to confirm. Like, okay. Never get a call back. I mean, at that point, I'm like, if I just stay here for two hours, that's fine. At least I get some sleep. So, come around four o'clock, make a few calls. All right, they're not gonna call back. I ain't gonna call them. I was like, I'll just hop in the back, go to sleep. And, uh, hopefully long enough to get some detention. Well, six o'clock, some around. Finally, uh, I left the CB on. Uh, this shipper has it uh, set to channel two. So I left it on just because I know they'd start to uh, chattering their truck numbers to the scale house as soon as they opened up since I got like seven trucks in front of me. Yeah, around six o'clock they start chattering up, moving up, finally getting to see, start moving up. And uh, finally when it's my turn to get on scale, they, uh, I, was, I was thinking I was going to be loading in the back in uh, plant two. That front part that apparently also loads 100 mesh. Well, I picked up 100 mesh the previous day, but I loaded it in the back plant, which is about half a mile back. Loaded 100 mesh there. Which, by the way, that guy's a little heavy handed. I 
I was barely, barely, I was right there at 79,680 pounds. Well, uh, well, this go around, they said, uh, they'd load in the front. And I saw where they were loading in the front. I'm just like, just wanted to clarify it right here, wherever all these bottom droppers are backing up to. He said, yes. Okay. Well, the way it's set up is basically you come in, you make the U-turn onto the scale, the face out, and uh, the loading rack is right in front of the scale. The tractor would be kind of blocking the, the way of the scale if you're coming off because you know, we've got a line of trucks. The guys that are on the scale aren't going to be able to move because I'm getting loaded. Well, once it cleared, I finally got off the scale. I went wide left, circled down around right, got on some patch of sand that was uh, really soft, got stuck. I was like, oh, you can't be, come on. So I called the number that I called earlier. The guy picked up, it was the guy who was at the scale house. He's like, hey, I'm over here uh, in front of the rack, I'm stuck in the sand, can't get any traction. Uh, can you send a dozer with some chains to pull me out? I said, yes sir, hang tight. The only thing is, we can't tie onto your truck. You have to do that on your own. I said, all right, no problem. Which, I need it. Which, uh, gave me an idea. I need to get some set of chains just in case this happens out in the field and another truck comes along, I can just have him pull me out. Dozer comes up, pulls me out after, you know, after I tied up onto my truck. Pulls me up about 30 feet away from the area I was at. Good to go after that, back in, got loaded. Uh, got my heavy weight, I was out. Today we got uh, over 46,000 pounds of 100 mesh going to, uh, oh my gosh, get the name. Shenayville, Shenayville, Louisiana. I think that's maybe just Shenay. Nope. Yeah, Shenay, just Shenay. So, heading there in that direction, about 100 miles from here. So, should be there around 9.30, right around that. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Just made it to the 9:45 a.m. Got only two trucks unloading right now, and just waiting for the sand coordinator to come out the trailer and let me know where he wants me to stage. All right, this is the line for the newest shipper that I haven't haven't been to so this is uh, I was supposed to pick up 100 mesh and yeah you heard me right I was supposed to but because of the whole issue this morning I started my day earlier than I needed to because the first shipper didn't open till 6 in the morning or start loading until 6 in the morning so now when I'm here my wait time was two hours until I got on the scale and at that point, all I had was an hour and 40 minutes left. So, dispatch, I had called dispatch saying, hey, this is the situation. Basically, once you get in line, you can't get out. There's no way to turn around, nothing. You have to basically go through the line, especially when you got trucks behind you. And I wasn't anticipating being here, stuck here for two hours before I even got to the scale. So they had to take me off the load. Uh, luckily the staff here is awesome they're completely understanding they were actually quite surprised that they were even getting our trucks yesterday because they hadn't got any information PO from 
the customer and our company. I'm just gonna go ahead and climb up on my tank, close my hopper, and just go to the closest truck stop, call it a day.